I'm going to assume that you didn't go into the project thinking I could potentially get this guy killed. Absolutely not. Um, and uh, those were uh, uh, some really, really uh, stressful times that we navigated um, as essentially domino after domino um, fell. And it was a, a daily crisis management um, between myself and calling um, Dan Kogan at Impact Partners and going, how do, we, how do we navigate this? And how do we essentially keep this guy alive? And we moved our production offices three times. We took everything offline. We moved his safe house uh, three different times as well. And, um, and I was not sleeping well. I mean, it was, it was a really, really stressful seven months. Not yet, which you could not have foreseen. But so when you were saying that you became friends, it puts you in a maybe an unusual position for a filmmaker, a documentarian, because your lines are not so crisp and clear, like the cameras are rolling and if you hang yourself, you hang yourself, and if you don't, you don't. You were not, as a filmmaker, willing to let him hang himself yourself. You were, you were not going to be the person who did that to him. No, and it, and, it was on, and it was on multiple levels. You know, there's this idea, I think, in, in documentary of your subject and, and you're the filmmaker. But as this story started out, I was the subject and he was my advisor. And he had been this incredible advisor and friend to me to help me that far in the journey. And so then all of a sudden the, the tables do a, a total switch. It's a 180. And now I'm his advisor and he's suddenly the subject. And not only that, his life is in my hands. But it was never a question to me of, of whether or not I was going to protect this person. I had, I had spent a month with him in Moscow. I had been with his family. I had been with his wife. I had been with his kids. I had, I had met his friends. And he had never once asked for a single penny. He was, everything that he was doing was unpaid, was to be a part of the project. And so when 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 you know the everything happens and we're on that call and he goes i need to get out of here and i'm watching the news and i'm and i'm seeing that that putin is basically getting ready to push him under a bus it was okay uh, i'm i'm going to i'm going to help you and i got him that ticket i i got him here and it wasn't even until a couple days later that i called um my producing partner and basically said hey guess what um <laughs> Gregory's basically on his way here and landing. Um, and uh, But it, it, we operated through the whole process of bringing the story to the New York Times. And even before that, there was just, there was just a trust and a friendship there that I was never going to push him under the bus. And every decision that we made, we made as, as a team.